Alright, now there was a, just two doors in here, right? That's the one I, which one did I come through? The other one. Okay, so I need to go through this one? Yeah, you try. Okay, good. Alright, now then. Hang on. Okay, so I go back out there, room directly across. Yep. So there's that, so I have to go back all the way around. Yep, go a loop de loo. Do a barrel roll. But I Oh wait, no. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. This way. Nurse. Very good. <laughs> we like it when things stay dead and don't come back. Yeah, that's wasn't that in Resident Evil? The Jennifer yeah. and things. And it really pissed me off. Yeah, you got annoying. I mean, it made sense with the game. No, it was just stupid. Okay, and you can't use the stairs. And there's oh, nothing here. We can't even go that way. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Done Good news with is we're down with we're down with four one. Bad news is there's nothing left but the basement. things considered this is not as bad as I was fearing yeah well it, it's yeah okay Come on. Nope. click it thank you all right base on one meow hi kitty oh, I can't go to basement one okay because I've been there before basement two can't go there. Basement three? Okay. Good, then. if we can go to basement three, I'd be really out of ideas. Yeah, I mean, okay. This is more or less like they just made a basement two, unless, you know, it opens up later. Okay, alright. Is there. It's the morgue! That makes sense. Okay. And there's number seven. Um. Wow, for some reason I feel like these things are all going to get up and, like, try to kill me or whatever, but... Well, number seven, Stanley. They have notes on them. Doesn't four mean death? Yes. In Japanese. There's a memo here. Let's see. Cock Robin, who hid the key away, is Ash in the oven? All right. The place he held is empty now, and the door remains shut tight. Uh, I think this is a puzzle. I think so too. Oh jeez. No, oh, these puzzles are. Anyway. Burn the ones who knows no death. Burn adorn those above. No prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. I don't know the meter of this. It's okay. Burn up that heavily body of his, make it wind dancing in the sky. The bottomless gut is now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls the, to the gates of hell. There burns evermore the soul of shell. Four bodies return to ashes, thus the door is opened. Thus the door is opened. Okay, so four bodies. So I have to burn these guys? So I guess we look at all of them, see if there's any clues. Um, sure. Hang on. Okay, so... Well, alright. Do I even have a map of this area? I don't think so. Nope, I don't. I'm just here. It's just that... And so, where is this door? Oh, God. Tell me that it just glitched. Okay, because it, it paused for a second there, and I was like, <laughs> ah, it glitched. I thought of something else. Am I stuck in here? No, that's the elevator. Okay, fine. Um, just open it back up, whatever. Okay, alright, so... I'm gonna check out number seven first, because it's our good pal Stanley. Hey, Stanley. Hi there, can I burn you? I'd like to. There's... Ah, there's a note. There's a memo here, let's see. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of... 
frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What a cruel linnet once he gets. Okay. The grass the thrush so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. I think this is what I was... We're gonna need, like, a piece of paper or something. Yeah, probably. Go make notes. Son of Tug A. Okay, so, guys, we'll actually go through and read all the notes. That way we can get it on the stream, because I'm sure we'll have to stop and think and ponder for a while. Okay, that's it. Who killed Cock Robin? The Sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. Okay, I don't think this is actually going to be all that bad. Um, let me see. Okay, which ones did I do? I did all those three. Yep. We do eight. The black rook is the praying sort, who hears the gods in the sky. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glasses are dim in his eyes. I kind of got that one. I was all rhythmic. Okay, <laughs> this one. The lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all away. Heart and mouth both blocked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. The wren, with pure heart as yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lips mackin'. But still we we all know he shall never grow old and knows not how much he is lacking. Number zero, really? Patient zero. The kite, hot, crazy, and panting mad. Sweet shackles are the tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild. Red blood that turns milky white. Okay. And... What is that? What number is this? Number six. The dove's hope died. He chose his path. His flapping wings fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay. His cheeks pale white and chill. The owl who fought in the sky resigned his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate and he ate. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we're going to help paper. We will be back whenever we solve the mystery of the gazebo. Okay, guys, um, we pseudo-solved it. I, I just have to take a moment to rant here. Because I'll be the first to admit, we ended up looking this up, and now that I have the solution, I disagree with it strongly. I do, too. Will you be so good as to look at the poem? So I can show them what I'm talking about. I don't know if it'll let me do it now. Because I just unlocked it. Nope, see? I can't do it. Okay, go back. I mean, oh, we're still in the same room? Yes, I'm still in the same room. So the second verse of the poem was, And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. That apparently matches up to the owl, which is this guy. The owl who forgot the sigh, sky resigned his poor earthbound state. Hungry or full, it didn't matter. He ate and ate and ate. Now, I can see the disbirth within the Earth and resigned his poor Earthbound state is kind of a link, but the problem is the fact that he ate and ate and ate sure sounds like it should be the third verse, which is, burn up that heavily, heavy body of his, make it wind, dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut, now a cloud, now a sigh. The fact that the Owl kept eating and has a bottomless gut seemed a very, very clear link. Yes. Yes, yes I agree. And so that's what we thought it was, not the other way around. And then the third one, that one about... Dancing in the Sky, Bottomless Gut, is apparently seven, which is Stanley. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear, what cruel Lynette wants he gets. How that has anything to do with burning up his heavy body, make it win, dancing in the sky, his bottomless gut, a cloud and a sigh, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I disagree with this. 
You know, Not it's we got the first and the fourth ones right, but I, and we didn't get the second or the third, but I don't feel bad about that. Yeah, no. Because the second no. and the third, I'm sorry. I mean, I know we put it on hard. I get that, but it, this is no. It's just it's completely illogical. Okay. Yeah, I know I don't have a map of this area. I'm gonna quit trying to look at it. So we got a crematorium key. Can we go we to got basement two. We a cremated too? key. So it's a key that's burnt. So whatever. Wait, I don't have. A... Didn't it let me look at the map before? No, because that was because I was on one and I had a right. one. So try basement two. Still no basement one. Still no, and then back to one. Don't get eaten. Once I get up here, I'm going to go right into the map, because there's got to be a door that's locked. I think I remember which one, too, but we'll look. Okay. No. Um, yeah, the day room. Day room? Oh, yeah, it was locked. Okay. Alright, um... And there's a save point if I go around. Hey, 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 kitty, do not eat the mouse. Okay, so there's a save point in the examination room on this floor. So I think I'm going to go over and save. All right. Okay, yeah, this way. Not to avoid the creepy thing. Yeah, to avoid the creepy thing. That's how you play Silent Hill. Avoid the creepy thing. Use your what? I had to use myself as bait. I don't, I don't think you understand the concept of bait. I had to use myself as beef jerky? <laughs> so the whole point of bait is so you're not using yourself. Right. Well, but I don't know that. Okay. So, all right, so go around, go around, and then straight. I can imagine it's like, okay, I'm going to run out there. If he shoots me, then stop him. All right. Here we go. Just saved. I'm okay. Oh, there's something. Going. Maybe not. I might be just seeing what there's a. Oh, that's where the book was. Yep. Oh, it's a nurse. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get out my stun gun. Ah, I'm gonna stun you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Where is she? Hi, I'm gonna. gonna Stun you! Ow! No! Stun you! I'm kicking! Kicking! Some more kicking! Some more kicking! No! Get up! Stop it! Okay, that one's dead. She's stuck on my foot. She's stuck on my foot. I'm dragging a nurse around. It's like dragging around toilet paper. You're terrible. Yeah, I am. It's this game. That's what it does to you. <laughs> oh, sure. Blame the game. I do blame the game. Okay. Okay, another pig thing. And door. Give me a save point. Something in here. Hi. I stun you. I st oh, shit. Really? Nope. I'm going to leave that room. I don't think I need to be in there. So there's a room across. So C1 full of nurses. Yep. Like, yeah, I, I don't think. It's probably not something I need. We will wait there. until we have no other option. Yeah, basically. That is the room right. of last resort and the yes. shotgun. Yeah, alright. So, um, examining room two, I guess, is across the way. Yep. Ow! What, what is hurting me? What is, oh, it's a big thing. Ah. Okay, I need to reload that. Okay. Okay, now, where am I? Oh, 
Okay, so it's to my right. Stop. No. Door. Okay. Thank you. Alright. I can't see. Like, I hate this. This is dark. Okay. Well, I, think that, I think that's the whole point. I know that, but... Still don't like it. Yeah, I still don't like it. Oh, I thought the door opened. But you were just mapping. Yes, I was... Okay, so there's not even a door there. Uh, okay. Oh, save point. Wow, this room seems almost peaceful. Candles and stuff. Someone's romancing you. There's a stretcher here. Not just you, more like an altar of some sort. Okay. Not your usual stretcher, <laughs> <laughs> like you find everywhere in Silent Hill. Just go down to Stretcher's R Us. <laughs> Candles and knives. The whole place smells like blood. <laughs> I'm sure. Did they worship that picture, or is some or something in the picture? No, that specific picture. Okay, and yes, it looks like there's a blood thing. Okay. Lost memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of ritual sacrifice. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry. I just reminded myself of a used car salesman. <laughs> that, that actually kind of works. <laughs> Offering prayers. A piece of a man's chest with a copper stake, drinks the altar in blood in which spouts red from the heart, and prays to show loyalty unto God. <laughs> yes. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. All if right. you want to hear more, just order 19.99 in four easy payments, and I will give you the complete history of cults, wizards, and weirdos. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was good. Thank you. I appreciate that. You gotta, you gotta have a laugh while you're in Silent Hill. You because, do. Because oh my god. I'm laughing at you, game. Okay, so, saved. Now what? Um, there's a door at the end of the hall, and there's the stairs that I bet are locked. And there's an elevator. And we circled the altar, for some reason. Yep, because we do that sort of thing. I got a plastic bag. You did get a plastic bag. I wonder what it's for. Okay. I wonder what the whole point of Stanley was, if he's going to end up a corpse on a gurney. To freak you the fuck out. <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. So those doors are nothing. There is a restroom at the end we didn't go into. That's all I see that's left. Give him some jerky. You can give him the shotgun. Because I don't know what a plastic bag would ever help with. I was going to say, yep, yeah, I could go in it. Wait, I missed a room, the storeroom. No, I know what's in there. <laughs> Never mind. Not going in there. I don't know. You should check it out just to be sure. This is one time my completionist is going to have to deal. <laughs> I missed on the third floor. There's examining room four up there too. That is true. <sighs> Wait. Okay, but that's the really dark hallway. 
Yes. Like, that's the one where we first came in. Yep. I doubt there's anything up there. I mean, I could be wrong. One way to find out. So, right now, my choices are between going up to an unknown room or going into a room with three nurses. Yes. You could all... Actually, wait, no. Go through the door uh, that goes to that pit. Straight across. Yep. Okay. I just saw that if you could get through that, there's another door to the examiner room, too. And I was like, well, let's make sure that you can't do that first. Yeah, can't do that. All right. All right. I have to say, not that I'll ever see it, but the game designers on this, very well done. Oh, yeah. The... The way that they made these so dark mm -hmm. that you just cannot see, and that breaks me out more than anything. <laughs> because like I can deal with the nurse that I can see that I can kill. Yep. But the one, the thing that you cannot see, which is chewing on your leg, that is terrifying. I mean, even if it's not killing you that much, which actually it looks like I do need to. Um, yeah, that's like, good. All point. those nurses hit me. I think. There we go. That is good, right? Yes. Better than gray. <sighs> yeah, I know gray flashing really fast is bad. So the the status like meter has never been which that sort of also I think lends to the freak out factor of this game is you can't quite tell how bad you're hurt. Mm -hmm. And I've seen like other games like or I don't know, the other version of this one or something that's where they have the little plus sign. Yeah, the first aid sign. The first aid sign where it's like, you're being injured. This does not have that. So you mm -hmm. don't even know. So I think that was part of the thing with the mirror room was that like you don't even know that you're being hurt. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I was going to equip this. Equip, okay. So I have a lot of shotgun shells. All right, high five. High five. <laughs> <sighs> okay, now where am I? I'm here, facing that way. Let's see why. Nurse Central Station. So, ah, can't even. Okay, there we go. It's a shooting gallery. Come on. I know there's more. Come on, plug you. There's another one. I see you. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Handgun bullets. And shotgun shells, I think. <gasps> Yay. Happy 38th birthday. They're going in increments of seven. It started 31st birthday, then went down to 24th birthday, and now it's 38th birthday. And Stanley... 14, 7, plus 7, plus 17 is 38. But it's my birthday. Okay. Well, that was certainly worthwhile. <laughs> is there a door on the back wall? I don't think so. Oh, see, that's just a grating. Oh. Well done with the ambient noise thing. Did I get hurt? I think I got hurt. I did get hurt. Dang it. How dare they hurt you? I'll beat them up. So I do have a veritable pharmacy here. Yes. Got 20 of those, and 9 of those, and 5. 5? What do those things do? Why about all my pain and help me recover my strength? Okay. So. So, yeah, okay, I'm back up to 72 hangar bullets. That's good. I'm happy there. Well, I guess go back to the one room we haven't been to. I 
guess so. That's all I can do. I mean, I'm glad we came in here. Even if that card didn't mean anything, I'm glad we saw it. Yeah, I mean, I think it would help with something. So, okay. So I have to go out, take a right, go through the day room, which should be empty. I mean, other than the hallways having the pig things, mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've, I've cleared out everything else. That's true. So I need to go up to the elevator. So I don't know if you noticed, like, right on the floor, right outside this room, like, right where the door was, there's, like, a corpse on the floor. Just there. Just as sort of a texture. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm going to re-equip this, because I don't want to waste... Shotgun ammo? Yeah, accidentally. Okay. Realistic. Okay, if I'm gonna not waste things, I should re equip the katana. <laughs> okay. You're half assing it. Yeah, just in case something, I don't know, spawned. I mean, at least this game is good about stuff not really. Yeah. I mean, it will be triggered to be behind me if I go down to a certain point in a hallway, but I, I've been everywhere, so. Okay, so I go out here. And then I go this way, and there's gonna be a big thing, but I'm gonna go faster to the elevator. Here we go. Don't care about you, pig thing. Nope. nope. Don't, Don't care. Okay. No, not that button. This one. Oh, it was a cutscene. Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scaring you now. <laughs> no, okay. Elevator. So, um. So it's third floor. on the third floor. Okay, because I can't do anything on the second floor. There's no doors. So third floor it is. Yup. I mean I don't know if you have to go in the in the room with the mirror if that triggers something else. I don't know. We'll try the other other door first. Yes. And then I mean and I know what's in there. I know what it's going to do. So theoretically it's not going to be as scary like the second time. Where am I going? The wrong way. You can go through that way too, though. I can. I can, actually, and I will, because that's the way I went. There's nothing in here. Okay. And I don't think there's anything in that hallway either. Oh, uh, there wasn't last time. There's no pig things. It's just dark. And the walls do that crawling thing. Okay. Okay. Nice. Hi. There. there. There's a hole in the wall. Oh god. Oh god. It's okay. It, okay, that's a that's a body that's dripping into the. Oh okay, that's nice. Can I click on it? Yes, I see that. Blood dripping. They filled the bucket set up. Okay, good. Okay. Um, yes, I'm going to use my plastic bag. Sure. That's the only thing I can figure no, is that I, I take the plastic bag, then down and throw some blood on the altar. Okay. There you go. A <laughs> plastic bag with blood. With some blood. Okay, good. So I don't think I have to go in the room with a mirror, which makes me unendingly happy. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Is that your favorite room in the whole game? Yeah, no. No, not really. Okay, so I go out and I can go straight out that other door. Mm -hmm. Run up to the elevator. And back oh, to the first the, floor. The completionist in me is like, you should check that other door. I'm like, no, I know what's in that room! <laughs> I keep wanting to, and I don't! Because I know what's in there! I'm irritated at myself because of it. Okay. Yeah, we better give it down to the altar so we can progress. So eventually, I'm going to look over there and we'll be like... It's back in myself! Okay, okay. says that. You're bad for me. Why? 
why. Because whenever I play games with you, I like pantomime stuff, and the people at home have no idea what I'm doing. That's true. That's true. He's, he's, like, acting, like, scared, like, cowering and things, and nobody can see it but me. And so I'm, I'm sure Edson... I, I, I do have to take issue with the term act at that statement. There is some legitimate, um, oh my goodness. What floor are we going to? First. One? One? Okay. Hi, kitty. I want to, you want to sit here, I'm going to pet you, I'm going to feel better. See, and it just so happened that I just missed that room. Like, why is it always that way? Okay, so then I have to go back. I have to take a right and run out of the day room and then go back the other way. Yep. Okay, here we go. Hey! No! Kitty! Oh, God. No, but something just. The, the game just glitched and loaded and. Okay, move, kitty. You have to get off my lap. There's a cat on my lap. I cannot play Silent Hill with a cat in my lap. Get off. <laughs> Real life aggro. Sort of thing. Alright. What are you looking at? Dead body. That's okay, you don't want to see what's up there. Yeah, I you knew he was there. Save first. Yes, please. I have good advice. That is good advice. Yeah, because I was just going to go throw, throw some blood on an altar. Isn't this the room where the stuff was stuck to the wall in the real world? Stuck to stuff. Yeah, I think that was Stan's we were... room where he had his mm -hmm. stuff stuck to the floor. I remember we were talking about the dynamite room. Yep. So. Put Shakespeare on the altar. There we go. I throw some blood on the altar. Yay! Now what? Okay, the blood drained into a ladder that wasn't there. And then suddenly, the whole line is gone, the hospital is gone, and there is a ladder leading to the other people's homes on the room. There's a ladder. And you can't leave anymore. You will never be tempted to go into the mirror room again. I just lied, she was tempted. <laughs> 